Kazakh national handcrafts make up the precious roots of steppe culture. They provide an inside look into nomadic lives. The art of the nation who once lived upon the Great Steppe is pictured here through wood and iron processing, jewelry and felting. Many programs modernize the culture of hunting, falconry, horse training and racing. Take a look inside the Kazakh culture on the program Kaz Art. Biz bugün basic jasaytın bulamız. Basic jasa olsun, yen aldımın onun sırtlı pışını, yani iskizin sızbanı sıfasını sürüp alamız. Today we are going to make a cradle. Before making the cradle, we should make a shape. And by this I mean that we draw the design on a piece of paper. Before making the design, we should also make the shape, which must be comfortable for a child. The length of it is about 60 centimeters and the width is 37 centimeters. The work of making a cradle has already gotten started. The master's activity is fast and his work is very fruitful. Making a cradle requires a mastership as well as patience, because the product intended for a baby must be perfect. The length and the width, the foot and the beam, all of these things must meet certain specific requirements. Only upon fulfilling these requirements can the baby grow up properly. After designing the external form, it is decorated according to your creative mind. For example, today I am going to draw an ornament of a baitrek, which is a poplar, in the cradle. The image of the poplar symbolizes the spread of the Kazakh people throughout generations, and I'm going to design it now. Mastership is a talent gifted by God. This is certainly creative work. Today, Nurjan begins his work with pleasure. He is going to decorate the two sides with different ornaments of his dream. He took his paper and his sharpened pencil, and now he started to draw the design. The cradle which I am going to make now is a collector's item. It is easy to carry and what's more, it fits the tradition of the nomadic Kazakhs. It's easy to gather up and move. There is a type of cradle which the surface of the wood can be bent. And today we're going to do some gouging. And by this I mean that the thickness will be gouged out up to three centimeters from the whole board. In the Kazakh mentality, the cradle is very important. A strong nation begins in the cradle, and what you learn in the cradle will stay with you forever, are wise sayings of the Kazakh people. All of them must have been devoted to this prestige of the cradle. For the masters who already know all of these nuances of wood, each work is difficult and different. For example, the wood of the cradle must be of good quality as well as durable. But the cradle can't just be made out of any old kind of wood. Our Kazakh people say about the cradle that the master makes the baby's cradle from bending willows. It's so comfortable that the baby in the cradle doesn't feel cold. He's not frozen nor is he burnt by the sun, and even insects can't touch him. On the other hand, it's warm. It's very comfortable to take along during nomadic migrations, and the baby can sleep in it. It is also comfortable for breastfeeding. It has a beam and a bone tube to drain out the urine of the child. This makes it easy for the baby to urinate cleanly and clearly. The health of the baby depends on the cradle as well. In ancient times, several technologies of making a cradle existed. They made small and comfortable cradles for nomadic lifestyle. 
They bended a juniper and willow tree, and they used the boards of cedar as well. If the matter concerns the cradle, the first thing we must pay attention to is its shape, because it must be comfortable for the baby. He must be able to move in it easily. And then we pay attention to the decoration of the cradle. We design it with different ornaments. Nurjan has really been talented since his childhood. A person must have first of all a desire, and of course he must have talent as well. For example, in working with wood, when I explain something to him, he gets it immediately. The boy also has an ability to create something new. This is the most important value of a woodworker because a craftsman must also be an artist. The one who draws well is a good master. Nurjan is also good at drawing, and he has a great talent with it. He creates his designs himself, and he makes these designs from his mind very accurately. In short, we can say that he is a young man who is making his steps into mastership, and he has his own philosophy. There are plenty of customs and signs according to the cradle. Even ancient people evaluated a family's welfare based on the condition of the cradle. The child's vision for his life may have even begun in the cradle. The cradle was considered to be sacred, and it wasn't put in front of the hallway. An empty cradle is not rocked, and the cradle should not be taken outside at inopportune times. The cradle is fumigated and cleansed, and then dried, and the lullaby is always sung when a baby sleeps in it. The Kazakh people say that a mother's arms are its golden cradle, followed by the wooden one. I made the design and now it's time to draw it on the surface of the wood. We have to clean and rasp the wood. The thickness of the wood will be about 3 to 4 centimeters. When the planner touches the boards, the slivers fly away. The master's hard work is invested in every small detail. These flying, small, curly prunings are cast away. A flat board has been prepared from both sides. The master has drawn the poplar on the surface, and the next work is to connect with the beam and the foot. They have some peculiarities to them as well. They require a high level of mastership, because the beam keeps the whole skeleton of the cradle together. If the beam is strong, the cradle is comfortable to hang as well as to carry. The cradle has a beam, and the beam is circular. To make it a circle, we equalize the angles, and then we make a square. Then we rasp the sides of the square and it becomes a circle. After that procedure, we decorate it with ornaments. It's not necessary to cover it with ornaments. We can leave the touching parts without ornaments and only the two designs on the sides. The beam is cut and placed. The circle is put halfway in and the top is attached with wood. 
tüvesinin ağaç pen ustatlat. Madem şu anda Türk başta ağaçımız ağaçımızın açıkan jumurlatıp arkalık uzerde. This is our circle made of these four corners. After making a circle, we decorate it with various ornaments. Our ornaments are like braided patterns, and we draw them in braids. The Kazakh people put a baby into a cradle after 40 days. If the baby lies in the arms of his mother for nine months, he also has to lie in the cradle for nine months. But some babies are put into the cradle until they're two or three years old. This is the sacredness of the national heritage, that it's comfortable for the baby. The cradle technology looks like the mother's arms in the Kazakh philosophy. The baby is then rocked in the cradle as well as in the mother's arms. The cradle had its own qualities at its time. Then different materials and bones and tubes were used. These bone tubes were divided into women's and men's varieties. Then they made felt, made of sheep's wool, into the tube. They also put sand or ash so that the urine could be soaked up and cleaned at once. Kazakhs always respect good woodworkers, jewelers, and all types of masters. All the products made for the nomadic lifestyle were made of wood, iron, and wool and they always respected the craftsmen and the masters of their business. There are also masters of masters. There are some masters who, like mighty oaks in their field, can even recognize the melting of silver in a fire. What is most important for a woodworker? Well, they must feel and recognize the proper wood. There are many different types of wood and every wood has its own unique application. For example, the juniper tree. The juniper tree is considered to be sacred and they fumigate with the juniper tree. The rituals and customs exist according to that tree and that's why we appreciate this tree highly. There is also a spectacular and different way of growth for the juniper tree. It grows dancing and sometimes even lying. The smell of the tree also energizes people. So now we are completing the process of making the cradle. These are the two sides. We started with the design on paper and this is our poplar. And all of the beams and the foot of the cradle are now put together and the cradle is going to rock. Now let's get down to the process of collecting the cradle. So now our cradle is ready. The master did his best. The national heritage with the image of the poplar has become comfortable, small and ornamental. The ornament of the beam is weaved on as a whip. The image of the poplar on two sides looks fruitful, like the nest of the nation. The white lime tree is also clean and attractive as white snow. The wood is clean, strong, and all the components are beautiful. The structure is attractive, and the image is a beautiful one. The cradle is the heritage of the nation. This is a source of education as well. It is an inheritance left by our grandparents. This is the great heritage of the nation and the generations. This is a great heritage of the people of the steppe. The cradle is an essential component of their nomadic lifestyle.